ballet project. Um, we accept volunteers to come and spend a minimum of a week, uh, maximum however long you want to stay, um, to come and have a holiday here with the elephants uh, and while you're here help out. very nice accommodation, we have a chef and volunteers can come here, they can come and work with the mahouts, they can come work with our staff, they can come help out um, by feeding the elephants, walking with the elephants, washing the elephants um, and at the same time uh, donate an amount of money which enables us to do our job. As an organisation, when we came here, um, the commune chief invited us to come see this location, and you know we knew right away this is just what we wanted. There's got lots of forest here, natural habitat, the elephant, lots of farms we could rent. We have about 650 hectares. That's our school down there, um, our adult education centre, where we bring in mahouts, we bring in local villages, bring in farmers, and uh, teach them. Better practices. We don't want to tell them not to do something, we want to show them different ways of doing things, more sustainable ways of farming, more sustainable ways of, of living with their environment. We have um, seven elephants and these elephants are here because they initially came here because they were in poor medical condition. I think in the future you know, we want to continue expanding, we'll get up to a population of about 30 elephants. We have a veterinarian, he comes every day, looks after these elephants and when he has spare time he goes outside of this project and goes and visits other elephants in, in, in across the province. There's about 18 elephants that we keep an eye on week to week. This is Bob, the most recent elephant that we rescued. We rescued him because the family that he had wasn't looking after him. Most elephants we don't we rescue aren't like imminently gonna die. They are like they um they it's, you know they're in a bad state and there's gonna be some time, you've got some time to rehabilitate them and get them into a better better condition. But since he's come here, um, we've, we've really kind of struggled because he's, a, he's, he's quite an aggressive animal. So we have to keep him a hoot on his head all the time. So this is Onion. Uh, we also rescued her this year. A very similar circumstance, she was a logging elephant. What we didn't realise when we rescued Onion here is that the owners had cut a square a hole in her head. Up on, up on her forehead, and then they jam a metal spike in, in her forehead. We didn't see it because they covered it in mud, and she was covered in mud when we bought her. So this is Malak. Um, she's typical of the elephants that we see coming out of tourism. And with tourism, it's, the work is very much different. The elephants don't have time to stop and eat. Um, and if they do stop to eat or stop to drink, then the people beat them on the head. And the problem is is that the elephants aren't allowed to be elephants. And so when we got her, we found all her, all her, all her front of her trunk here was all torn to pieces. Um, she was blind in one eye. She was covered in abscesses and cuts and bruises. What they really want is love, love and attention. If you want to come volunteer, um, you can sign up at globaltier.org um, and click on the Cambodian Cambodia Elephant Forest Program, which is the volunteering program here at the Elephant uh, Valley Project. Um, or you can go to our website at uh, letthemroamfree.org.
racism. 